In this video, I'll do a walkthrough on how to set up Sublime Text 3 for Python programming. At the end of the video, you'll have a Python environment that is able to run simple Python programs as well as Python programs that accept user input. It's Ndafara from NKT Studios, and in this channel, we focus on technical tutorials as well as software demos. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments below if there's any topic you want us to create a tutorial for. Now let's get into it. The first thing that we have to do is to download Sublime Text 3. If you already have it, you can move on to the next section. So just go to the Sublime Text 3 download page, which is www.sublimetext.com. When it opens up, just go to your operating system, mine is Windows 64 bit, and then just click on it to start the download. Once it's finished downloading, go to the download location and double click it to start the installation. I'm just going to close these tabs and then just double click it to start the installation. Just click on yes. And then it will ask you for the install location. I'm just going to keep the default. So click on next. It will then ask if you want to add an explorer context menu. I'm not going to add one. So I'm just going to click on next without clicking on the checkbox and then click on install to start the installation. Our installation is complete, so just click on the finish button. With this, we are ready to run Python code, and to demonstrate, I'm just going to open Sublime Text 3. So I'm just gonna close this, and then search for Sublime Text. Open it up, I'm just gonna expand it here. The first thing that I'm going to do is just to increase the font, so that you can see. Now I can write my Python code, which is print hello Python world from Sublime Text 3. To run this code, I just need to save it with the Python extension, which is .py. So if you press Ctrl S and then choose where you want to save it, I'm going to put it in demos, Python. And then I'm going to call it hello.py. To run this code, all you have to do is go to tools and then click on build system. And as you can see, automatic is selected. What this means is that Sublime Text 3 will automatically build your file based on the extension. So in this case, it will see that it's a .py extension, which is the Python extension, and then build the file for Python. If it was, for example, a Java file, it would be a .java, and it would compile the file for Java. I'm going to select Python, and then to run it, just go back to Tools and click on Build. As you can see, the shortcut is Control B, so that's the one that I'm going to use. Just press Control B, and as you can see, my output was printed in the results pane here. And that's how you run a simple Python program with Sublime Text 3. Now to run a Python program that accepts user input, we have to install a third party package in Sublime Text 3. Third party packages add functionality to Sublime Text. And to install them, we have to install package control. And to install package control, you have to open the command palette. And you can do that by going to tools and then selecting command palette. As you can see, the shortcut is Ctrl Shift P and that's the one that we're going to use. So just press Ctrl Shift P to open the command palette and then type in install. As you can see, we now have install package control option. Now just click install package control to install it. If everything went well, we'll get this confirmation message. So just click on OK and we should be able to install packages. Press Ctrl Shift P again to open the command palette and then type in install. As you can see, we now have package control options. Select the one that says install package and it will open up with a list of packages. You can see the progress on the bottom left corner. As you can see, it's downloading the packages. The package that I'm going to install is called Sublime Repo. Sublime Repo allows us to capture keyboard input and use it in our program. So the next thing that I need to do is just to search for Sublime Repo and install it. So I'm just gonna type in Sublime Repo and then as you can see, it's now the first option. Just click on it to install it and then also check the bottom left corner for the progress. I got a confirmation that Sublime Repo was successfully installed, but you can also verify that it installed correctly by going to Preferences and then Browse Packages. You should see a Sublime Repo folder there if it was installed successfully. With this, we can now write a Python program that accepts user input. So I'm just gonna close this and then create a new file. And then I'm simply going to write number is equals to input and then enter a number. And then on the new line, that's when I'm gonna print the number that was entered. Then I need to save this code as a Python file. You can just press Control Shift S to save it. And then I'm gonna give it the name input.py. 
And as you can see, Sublime Text managed to identify that this is a Python file and it has formatted it accordingly. To run this and accept user input, just go to Tools, Sublime Repo, select Python, and then select Run Current File. As you can see, it will pop up with a new window which is interactive and that's where we can enter our number. Enter a number, I'm going to enter 50, and then press Enter, and as you can see, our number was printed out and it closes the REPL. I just need to fix the space on enter a number, so I can just close this and do this. Control S to save, and then go back to Tools, Sublime REPL, Python, and then run current file. Now we've got a, a better output. Enter a number, this time I'm gonna type in 88, and as you can see, 88 was printed and the repo was closed. So let me just close this. And as I've just demonstrated, you don't want to go to Tools, Sublime Repo, Python, and then select Run Current File every time you want to run Python code with input. So what we just need to do is to create a shortcut for this process. So just go to Preferences, and then select Key Bindings. Let me just open this up. And then as you can see here, it says default key bindings and then user key bindings. So under the user key bindings, paste in this code and then press Ctrl S to save it. I've put a link to this code in the description below. So let me just expand this and I just explain the code. So basically what it does is create a shortcut, Ctrl Alt B, that will run the repo for Python. So if I close it here and then if I press Ctrl Alt B, it will run the repo. Now I can just enter my number. 678 this time and then as you can see it printed out my number and then closed the repo. Also instead of using the mouse to close the repo that is clicking here you can just press Control w and it will close the repo and send you right back to your program. If you don't like a package that you've installed just open the command palette and instead of install type in remove package and it will show you all the packages that you have installed. So just press Control shift p type in remove select remove package and as you can see, it lists the packages that I have, which is package control and sublime repo. Then you just need to select the package that you want to remove and it will be removed from your sublime text. I hope you like this video and I hope you use some of the tips that I mentioned in this video in your projects. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.